All right, so I know we're supposed to be done with the 90s, but listen, it's 1991. All right, 1991, November 1st, Michael Jordan, the Chicago Bulls right here. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Pippen, all of that good stuff. And since it is November of 91, I think this is after Jordan just won the championship. The Chicago Bulls won the 91 NBA championship. And because of that, we're putting Victor Wimbayama in the 1992 NBA draft, which is the same year that Shaq got drafted, Alonzo Mourning, Christian Leitner, Jim Jackson. This is a pretty, I mean, okay draft. Not the best draft, but it's an okay draft. So we're going to put Victor in the draft and see where he gets drafted for next season. I don't know where he's going to go. And we're also going to see if the Bulls actually win the 92 championship because, you know, they won 91, 92, 93. Jordan retired, so he didn't play 94, 95, then came back and won in 96 97 and 98 so we're gonna see if the bulls can win the championship and then see where victor Wimbayama lands and check out his career in the 90s because he is torching the modern nba after this rookie of the year season and i expect year two to be even better so jordan takes home the mvp larry johnson rookie of the year deadless shrimp is six man david robinson depoy purvis ellison most improved phil jackson coach of the year the bulls go 66 and 16 of course jordan makes all nba first team magic made all nba third all defensive first okay cool now we're in the playoffs we're going to simulate the playoffs see if the bulls can win the 92 chip and they win in seven jordan gets finals mvp and they beat the portland trailblazers and if i'm not mistaken i think the trailblazers is who they actually beat in 1992 as well now let's check the draft lottery here lottery shaking up results the nuggets get the first pick the mavericks get second and the milwaukee bucks get third so wimby's definitely going top three if he doesn't go top three i'd be surprised i actually wouldn't be surprised if he went number one uh but let's see welcome to the 1992 nba draft the denver nuggets are on the clock for the first pick and I wish they would hurry up and make the pick. Victor Wimbayama goes number one to the Denver Nuggets. That is crazy. So the Shaq goes second to the Dallas Mavericks. He does. And then Alonzo Mourning probably will go third to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yep. All right. Cool. So this is not bad, though. We pair Victor Wimbayama with Dikembe Mutombo. Reggie Williams is the small four. And Mahmoud Abdul-Roth is the shooting guard. So did that put Victor Wimbayama starting at power forward? next to Dikembe Mutombo in his first season. Now, I don't know if that duo can get the Denver Nuggets to the playoffs in the first round, but we'll see. We'll see how he starts his career in the 90s. I mean, the Nuggets are definitely starting off the season pretty good. Eight and nine and two. First 11 games. I try to do first 10, but first 11. I'm also looking at the space in between these games. It's like they're playing every other day. Then they get two day break on the weekend. I don't know if that's how the 1991 schedule actually was, but hey, the Denver Nuggets first in the Western Conference with a 9-2 record. And Wimby in his first 11 games in the 90s is averaging 20 and 9. Mahmoud is averaging 20 a game. So yeah, the Denver Nuggets should definitely make the playoffs off of Mahmoud, Dikembe, and the Victor Wimbayama Big 3. I don't know what's happening here. I don't need no computer trade offers. But I don't know. If they can even make it to the finals, I don't even know if they'll beat, you know, Jordan and whatnot but they started off pretty decent and now they're they were almost 500 basketball 18 and 12 you're getting close to that 500 basketball range all right they got a little shaky because 25 and 22 at the all-star break dropped them from first all the way down to seventh so i don't know what happened there i don't know if victor Wimbayama his points dropped a little bit 17 and 10 the kimbe is now 13 and 11 but this is 17 and 10 on 42 31 82 from the free throw line abdul roth is playing great basketball though 54 42 90 so he's having a 50 40 90 season and like i said dikembe mutombo is averaging a double double with two blocks a game so in hindsight they started off good and they started falling off but it is now after the all-star break so hopefully they could pick it up and maybe still make the playoffs y'all know there is no play-in situation in these simulations because this is early 90s so they have to crack the eighth seed to make the playoffs michael jordan wins the mvp victor Wimbayama, of course rookie of the year 18 and 10 what do you do 43 83 31 lionel simmons wins six man patrick ewan depoy gary payton most improved and the charlotte hornets coach gets coach of the year 62 and 20 
We got Jordan first team all NBA. Let's see. We don't get Wimby on any all defensive team or all NBA teams, so he should be there next year. The Nuggets did make the playoffs though, and they finished seven seed, 41 and 41, so literally 500 basketball. When I say 500, I was talking win percentage, so the Nuggets are literally a 500 basketball team facing a two-seeded Portland Trail Blazers that went to the NBA Finals last year, and it is a 2-2 two -two series, a 3-2 series. Oh, first round is best of five. Wow, okay, so the Nuggets make it to the second round of the playoffs. They're playing Utah Jazz, and if I'm not mistaken, this Utah Jazz team is definitely John Stockton and Carl Malone. So I don't know if they beat this Jazz team. They don't. They don't. Wimby, it was a good run. It was a good run this season. Didn't happen. So we're going to the finals. Wow, the Chicago Bulls lost, and Utah Jazz win the championship. Carl Malone, 26 and 11. The Bulls lost in the first round to the Pistons. Oh, Isaiah Thomas in him. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. All right, so in year two, Wimby is now the best player on the team as a 90 overall, but he only has one year left on his rookie deal. Back then in the 90s, rookie deals wasn't how it was in 2024, where it's like four years or three years in then player option. So he has this season right here and then a team option for the next two seasons, which I'm pretty sure the team will probably pick his option up. But yeah, Wimby is now the best player on this Nuggets team and we just got to see what he does through the first 10 games I mean what was it eight and two or nine and two the first 11 last season and we thought that they were going to have a good season and they did make it to the second round of the Western Conference playoffs or second round of the playoffs but hey nine and one this year you get second in the West and over the first 10 games Wimby is averaging 23 12 and four and basically two blocks a game shooting splits though are 52 46 77 so he's a much better three-point shooter this season than he was last season so that off the top should be you know what i'm saying room for improvement and that should propel the nuggets who are having a great season right now 17 and 3 they were 17 and 3 in their first 20 games so this team may make a deep run into the playoffs i don't see them having a fall off after the all-star break like they did last season and at the all-star break we are 35 and 11 i'm saying we because i'm you know simulating the nuggets i am not a nuggets fan i hate the nuggets actually 35 and 11 second in the western conference and by all-star break wimby is averaging 23 13 4 and he is over two blocks a game 50 40 81 percent my mood is still hooping 22 a game right now three rebounds five assists 56 33 and then Dikembe is still averaging a double-double with two blocks a game. So Dikembe is averaging 2.4 blocks a game. Wimby's averaging 2.4 blocks a game. And the team is looking pretty decent at 35 and 11. Second in the Western Conference. Clyde Drexler takes home the MVP this season. Chris Webber is Rookie of the Year. Lionel Simmons, six man. David Robinson is depoy. Wimby is most improved. So Wimby is not getting the depoys like he does when you simulate him when he's in a modern NBA. Wimby wins deploy almost every season. But Rick Elderman is the coach of the year. Blazers go seven, uh, 64 and 18. And like I said, Victor Wimbayama will make his way to all NBA team. 23-12-4, 48-44-84, 2.4 blocks a game. One steal a game. And he's now at 92 overall and makes first team all NBA. He does not make all defensive first team or all defensive second team that's pretty interesting to me but the nuggets are the second seed in the western conference finishing with the 57 and 25 record so that's not bad i did not want to do simcast okay we got the clippers first round do the clippers have anybody doc rivers that's crazy doc rivers used to coach the clippers now he's on the clippers ron harper's here on the clippers and let's see can we get past the clippers in the first round and we do seattle supersonics in the second round gary payton sean kemp i don't remember who else played with payton and kemp maybe Dallas shrimp actually played with them i'm not sure but they got game one it's a 1-1 one -one series 2-1 2-2 two -one, two -two. and we get past the second round this year 3-2 three 3-3 -two, three -three. we're going to game seven i was hoping that we could get past the second round pretty easily but we are going to game seven with the defensive minded seattle supersonics team and it looks like we're pulling away just a little bit right down to the end and we win by one 98 97 when we had 30 points on 11 boards shot an efficient 11 for 21 and two for three from the three-point line so now we see the portland trailblazers again 
Terry Porter, Clyde Drexler, Jerome Kersey, Kevin Duckworth, six man of the year, Lionel Simmons. So you got the MVP and a six man that you got to get past this year, uh, Western, yeah, West, right? Yeah, Western Conference Finals. And it's not happening. Okay, 2 1, 2 2. I was going to say it's not happening. 3 2, it's not happening. Okay. Hornets play the Trailblazers. I think the Hornets did have the best record in the NBA, and they win in six, capturing the NBA championship. Larry Johnson. Finals MVP 26 and 13. That's not bad basketball. Now, here comes the question. I think it is a team option for Victor Wimbayama to be picked up uh, by the Denver Nuggets for next season. So if they pick up his team option, which I don't see why they wouldn't, he's basically a franchise guy. I'm a franchise guy now at this point in time. So if he didn't get picked up, okay, he did. And he's now a 94 overall. So he continues to get better and i think they can pick up his option again the next season yeah after this season they can pick up his team option again which i'm pretty sure that they'll actually end up doing so we're not worried about that we just want to see can he keep getting better and can the nuggets keep getting better you lose in the first round in year one then you lose in the western conference finals in year two this year you got to make it to the finals and if you lose in the finals you still got better and improved all-star break looking good though 30 and 16 i don't know if that's the best record that we've had at the all-star break so far but that does put them first in the western conference so that is a good thing and Wimby keeps improving man this year right now i just saw 26 and a half yeah 27 basically i like to round up so 27 13 4 still two blocks a game having a 50 40 90 season and his team is first in the western conference so that means if his team finishes out hooping like this he should win mvp i don't know if they'll give him defensive player of the year just because they haven't done it yet but his defensive stats have been there but an mvp and possibly a finals appearance in year three would be huge do i expect that in real life with the san antonio spurs no but do i expect this in this simulation of course and like i said when gets the mvp 27 13 and 4 one steal 2.3 blocks 50 40 90 season glenn robinson rookie of the year magic still in the league six man david robinson gets the depoy so Wimby cannot capture a defensive player of the year award Jerry Sloan 58 and 24 gets coach of the year and of course Wimby is on all NBA first team he still has yet though to make an all defensive team so I don't know the difference in defense for the 90s compared to the 2000s because or 2020s because Wimby's making that defensive team first in the west of course like I said for the Denver Nuggets Seattle again Let's simulate game by game because they're the AC and they're winning game one with Gary Payton, with Sean Kemp, with Hot Rod Williams. I don't even know who Hot Rod Williams is. Like I might know, but at the time I, I don't really know. And then we got smacked in the first round. So we lose. First seed, losing in the first round. Bullets win the NBA championship and Purvis Ellison gets the finals MVP. Chris Webber takes the MVP in the following season. 32 and 12 is insane work. Kevin Garnett is now in the lead with rookie of the year. Danielle Marshall, six man, David Robinson, Depoy. So Wimby doesn't take home anything, but he gets first team all NBA and he's a 97 overall. And they still don't have him on a defensive team. And his team still finishes first in the Western Conference with a 66 and 16 record. And his stats for all NBA ended up being 27 and 13. So a pretty similar season to last year, still 50, 40, 90. And just couldn't get an award but can he get to the nba finals okay I almost lost to the clippers in the first round you get the mavericks in the second round game one you take game two you take two one two two three two three three wimby is tough baby it's tough i'm trying to get you a championship it's tough the dallas mavericks they go on to win the chip in six. Oh, you had to run up against shaq 23 and 11 and Shaq gets the finals MVP. Now this is where it gets tricky because in this offseason, Victor Wimbayama can leave the Denver Nuggets and place himself in a better situation to win the NBA championship. But we will see if that's what he actually, you know what I'm saying, decides to do and he didn't. He stayed with the Denver Nuggets. Stay with the Nuggets. I don't know if that's the best thing for him because he just cannot get over that hump. He won one MVP, he's not getting any depoys not winning the championship, so I don't know if that's the best decision, but we'll see. And Chris Webber does it again with back-to-back -back MVP, so I don't know. Wow, Steve Nash on the Lakers, rookie of the year. I don't know, man. They still don't give Wimby Depoy. They gave it to Alonzo Mourning. 
it's tough. He's back on first team All NBA, 25, 12, and 5. Another 50, 40, 90 season. Still no all defensive team. Kevin, oh, I lied. All defensive second team. They finally blessed him with all defensive second team honors, and he is a 98 overall as well. But we're only here to see if he can make it to the NBA Finals and get him a championship. He swept the Clippers in the first round, second round versus Vancouver. He gets there in seven. Now he has to play Penny Hardaway, Christian Leitner, Purvis Ellison, Eddie Jones in the Western Conference Finals. Can he get there? Lost game one, 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, three one. Victor Wimba, oh, wow, Victor Wimbanyama, I was finna say welcome to the NBA Finals. If you lose it here, buddy, I don't know what to tell you. The 90s are tough. The 90s are tough. They say MJ played against plumbers sometimes and all of that, and you lost. It's over. It's over. I'm sorry, Wimby. 32, 13, and 6. I tried to get you there. Michael Jordan is back in the finals. NBA championship. Finals MVP. Victor, we did what we could. We did what we could in the 90s, buddy. You were a one-time MVP, a four-time All-Star, four-time first-team All-NBA, one-time second-team All-Defense, most improved player, and rookie of the year, and you're a 97 overall. You just couldn't win an NBA championship. But I appreciate y'all for stopping by and sticking through. Make sure y'all hit that sub button, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.